Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. No, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. I did this show uh, yesterday, I believe, and I was having a problem using this map. This is the PSK Reporter map, which is a, a fairly real-time Mac map of communications on the amateur radio bands. And the problem I was having was it has an option where it will show you the connecting lines between the two stations that were communicating. And I couldn't get that to come on. And of course, that was important to tell me, like over here in the United States, where I live, where these people were communicating, what country, whatever. Well, one of my viewers came to my rescue. Here's down here. Patrick, uh, he says it's quite easy. The drop-down menu where now is the call sign, select anyone and click go. And that should give you the connecting line. So let's try that. So here's a, uh, a live page, um, real-time, live, I don't know what to call it. This is what's going on now. And you see this is what the problem I had. I got this nice map and everything, but I don't know where these people in the United States are communicating. Are they communicating over in Europe? Now, right now, it's 1.22 p.m. here in Clearwater, Florida. And I'm on, I've selected the 30-meter band. And both amateurs can use this and uh, shortwave listeners can use this website. You lose some options if, um, if you don't have a ham license. That's right, which I discussed in the previous video. So, I like to listen to 31 meters. Maybe right now is not a good time, or maybe it is based on all these little bubbles here. So, let's do what he said. He said, come up here and on the call sign, select anyone. Okay, I did that. And then you have to say go for it to update. Voila! There you go. There's all the lines. And let me uh, zoom out a little bit here. And not too many from the United States. Matter of fact, outside of the United States. Matter of fact, none of these are communicating with people outside of the United States because right now is not a good time to do that. Either the weather, uh, solar conditions, time of day, whatever. So that tells me I probably won't receive anything on the international broadcast band of 31 meters this time of day. So let's, let's try another one. Now, one thing that's really difficult here is this particular band uses these light green lines. They're a little hard to see. So you can come up here where the little map thing is and select satellite map, and that darkens it up and then the green lines appear. Actually, I think I would prefer that map, so I like that map better. Now, let's go up to it's a little higher in frequency. I, I usually do better in the afternoon uh, here in, in Florida on the higher band. So let's go up to 17 meters, and we'll have to say go. And let's see. Whoa, God, look at that. Look at the traffic between the United States and Europe and Asia, oh my gosh. So this would be a good band if you're an amateur, um, you can use this 17 meter band to listen or to communicate if you have the right license. Or if you're just a shortwave listener, you can get this as an indication of good reception. It's an indicator now, keep that in mind, it's an indicator of good reception up around the 17 meter band, which would be, you know, 12 megahertz to 15 megahertz up in that area. Pretty cool. And with that function turned on of showing you the connecting lines, you can see that people right now in the United States are communicating with people over here with without the connecting lines. Let's see if I can turn it back off and go. You don't see the lines are gone, so you don't know where these people are talking to. You you would guess over here, but 
if we go back to the 30 meter band, we'll do a go. Now you got almost as many balloons, but then if I turn the connecting lines back on, you know, people in the United States are not talking to Europe or anything like that. A uh, few in Canada are. So now this thing is this uh, web page, which is the PSK Reporter web page, is a very valuable tool. It's just that I didn't know how to use use it so that I could see those connecting lines. Anyway, thanks to let me go back here. Thanks to Patrick, and that's what my show's all about: people helping people in the field of shortwave radios, scanner radios, gadgets, whatever. That's what it's all about. People helping people. Thank you very much, Patrick. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.